Yeah. You know, it's CT gang. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> nah, what's up, what's up? Hope everybody doing well. You know what I'm saying? Happy Columbus Day. You know, we love these days where we get the day off and still get paid. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, how are everything going so far? Starting off. It's sunny. It's warm outside. It ain't too hot. It ain't too cold. So, that's always a plus. Hey, this is the perfect fall. I feel like we've been getting the perfect weather for like a whole like week or so. like we got a week and a half the perfect weather i'm gonna be so sad when it turn cold Man. i hate the cold <sighs> if Hopefully. i could find gee, if i could find a place where i could just be like have this weather right here all year long without the wind i would definitely move there why because you could be outside i feel like it's a it's a multi-purpose type of weather you can do yeah. anything that you want to yeah. do and you'll be straight doing it you know what i'm saying you ain't cold you ain't hot Nice little weather. Man, shit. hopefully this is my last winter here. I, I can't do another winter. Hey, I heard that, man. Hey, he be out there shaking like a $2. <laughs> yes. Hey, I can't yes. control that. I don't like it. Mm -mm. But, hey, it make your work go faster because you be running. Or it make you just stay in that truck a little longer. <laughs> you know, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like staying in the truck because it's like when you get out that truck. Oh. I'll be like, I'll be out there with that heat like, damn. I really got to go. Okay, on your mark, get set. Let me take five minutes. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> hey, but it turned them 15 relays into like five minute relays. You be yeah, like, you damn, did. I did that. <laughs> walking. Hey, hey definitely. Walking. <laughs> hey, definitely. It was definitely. But our topic of the day, we talking about moving. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And ways it can benefit you, you know? Moving different locations, whether it's city or state, whatever you prefer. Or cross town, you know what I'm you saying? Know. Some people yeah. move cross town, yeah. and it's for the best of them and their situation. But. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, uh, we're moving. You know what I'm saying? I feel like moving, like, it can could, it could help you grow as a person, I feel like. Yeah. One, you know, shit, it could be financially better. Yeah. Right now, Illinois, we live in Illinois, as y'all know, we always talk about this. We are the second, we got the second highest tax property. We do. And according to uh, Rocket Mortgage, we sitting at like a 2.27, which is double and so far. They talking about everything's supposed to be going up. Going like up. So, interest rates and all that stuff is supposed to be going up. Right. right. So, so I'm like, damn, we already shit. I ain't going to stop. I'm like, I'm not, I ain't buying yet, but I be looking into like houses and stuff, looking at stuff like that. And compared, compared to other places, I'm like, shit. You get more for your, you yeah. get more land, more. More for the just, bucks, yeah. definitely. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like here, you paying a half a million dollars for something like mansions that can be down there. You know what I'm right. saying? Down south down or south. whatever. Yeah. Because uh, like speaking of down south, like they got Texas at 1.880 and then they got Florida at 0 0.89. I was like, I see why everybody moving down yeah, to Florida. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you go down there, work your ass off here, you know, take your savings and go down there. And you and can you definitely like build your queen. dream home. Yeah. yeah. You live like a queen or you live yeah. like royalty. Yeah. Most definitely. And then you ain't got no state tax down there. You know what I'm saying? It's more. And then the weather is better. That's so it's like, it's <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, ah, where am I staying right. in Illinois? Caught us fuck here. Right, like, we can go down it's south. Like, we already you know, you know, we ain't from Florida, no by far, but you know, that's our spot. Yeah, We love going definitely. down there. Hey, it's always a good vibe, so shit, don't be surprised, you know. And then, you know, the people. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the, yeah y'all yeah. like, you know, y'all like. Hey, they definitely, they definitely do like. Hey, straight up, straight up, Miami vibes. <laughs> I'm with it all day. But, you know, give you that fresh start because... When you, like, want to make a change sometimes, it's okay. It's, I feel like it's best to move away. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. Because it gives you a chance to, like, create whatever you want to, you know. Create you get away from, like, image. Yeah, you get away from, like, image of you. Yeah, you get away from, like, those old habits. You know, it's easy to fall back into old ways when yep. you're around the same environment. You know what I'm saying? You get comfortable. So, yeah, you get comfortable, whatever. Back and it's always easy to go back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay, like, shit, I'm trying to do something different. But, shit, if everybody else or... If some of us not that mentally strong to be like, no, I need to stay doing this. And be like, shit, hey, let me go back over here and chill a little bit. So, my friends over here doing this, but yeah. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Working hard yeah. and having discipline is hard. You know it what I'm is. saying? And when you trying to move on, it is kind of hard to branch away from your from what you're familiar from. And then it's like, they they and they downing you and shit like man we we partying over here you can just party one night you know what I'm saying you act mm -hmm. funny why you acting like that right. like one one day of having fun ain't gonna hurt your hard work it really can't it is. set you back yeah it will set you back cause yeah. it's like damn bro I shouldn't even did that you know what right. I'm saying now I got this situation now I dove off into this when I've been going right this mm -hmm. whole time that one left turn just turned into a whole. A lot of mess that I yeah. could avoid it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely like 
<clears throat> you got to hold strong. You got to, that discipline got to be yeah. there. And sometimes discipline is hard. You know what I'm saying? It so is. you definitely got to, you got to, that's something you got to work on. Yeah, that's definitely like, that's mental. something. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to take it one yeah. step at a time. Yeah, you can't just time. be like, oh, I'm going to dive in and I'm going to do this. And you yeah. know, some people do just yeah. <clears throat> up and leave. Yeah. I know well, a couple so far, you know. And sometimes, hey, I'm happy for the ones that did. My brother, he went up, you know what I'm saying? Moved yeah. out to L.A., doing this thing or whatever. Shout and out. And it was beneficial to, to him, growth. you know what I'm saying? He out there. working. Pers- I see personal growth with him, you know, with him or whatever. Mm-hmm. All kinds of stuff or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> also, sometimes shit moving, it can expand. Your, you know, you get to walk with different cultures. You get to learn about different people, backgrounds or whatever. Give you a little knowledge <coughs> of what's going on with them and stuff. Network. Yeah. that's Yeah, social group is definitely because, like, when you moving... Like, it's, uh, let's not forget, it's always a pro and a con to moving. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Most definitely. And it could go either way, because, like, we say, hey, moving down south, you know, it's more reasonable, whatever, you know? And also, you know, the fresh start in, like, larger groups or whatever. It come, when you come to, like, going out and just, like, I feel like when you move and you go vibing or whatever, it's like you don't know where to go when you move sometimes, yeah. you know? <clears throat> but on the other hand, you meet new people. Yeah. You may not know what the good food is. But that's why you get out and you explore or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I hey, I'm looking forward to that person. Yeah, yo, yo, you horizon your interests and stuff. And in people and food and places and doing a lot of other stuff. And then like whatever you're trying to build a brand, you trying to build a new image, you tend to build that when you go yeah. out of town. Cause like don't nobody know you. Yeah, you can be your brand new self. <laughs> you can brand yeah. <laughs> nobody know you. You can you can used to be a prostitute back in, you know what I'm saying, Columbus, Ohio. You get uh-huh. down to Miami, Florida. You a whole new person. Hey, you're you a whole new you, person. Right. You they don't know nothing about unless you tell them, and I wouldn't even tell nobody uh-huh. like that. But <laughs> unless you tell them, how would they know? You know right. what I'm saying? Clean don't, slate, how clean, right. They wouldn't know nothing. So what? you go down there, you build yourself on how you want yeah. you to look and yep. the odds of other people. You know yep. what I'm saying? So I most definitely think that's a big ups. And then, like she said, you ain't got nowhere to go. You ain't got nowhere to be. But So your hustle game is stronger uh-huh. because it ain't like you going out every week and you don't know where the hot spots nope. is. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where the, the hip people are or, you know what I'm saying, none of that stuff. You yeah. work home, work home, work yeah, home. Yeah, you hustle, yep. And so your you hustle. you got your shit. like, yeah. let me go out and explore a little bit. And then, and you, then, then you the might. people. Yeah. New people and shit. Which it could be good for networking, depending on what you do in your life or whatever. And also, it can help you with job opportunities too. Yeah, a lot exactly. of people move because of job, job opportunities. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They want to move because they want this job or whatever. Because some jobs give you job placement. You know, you good at what you do. Like hey, us? okay, yeah, come on down here. You know, especially people like in management positions or whatever. They looking for a new manager or whatever. Hey, they'll take you, move you and your family, and yeah, shit. You know, get put y'all on y'all way. I'm glad we got the job we got. We always talk about this because we can't. We they ain't placing us. We 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 gotta try. We gotta go. You know, pick where we want to go with her. But we got security. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we go down there. We straight. Go mm-hmm. somewhere else. We got all and we got then, to find a crib. Right, and then our our pay don't uh, adjust to the cost of living. That's another yeah. big thing. So when you go down there, if everybody down south getting paid ten dollars an hour, they're not gonna be like, oh, okay, so we gotta adjust your payment. No. We still get the same payment, the same. Yeah. Unless you take another a different job yeah. or something within, then, you know what I'm saying, we get the same pay. And then, like, being with the government, you know what I'm saying, It's you can make lateral moves. I ain't, She ain't necessarily got to be a mail carrier. I don't necessarily got to be uh, in management. I could do something else, you know what I'm saying, as long as it's within the government. So, <clears throat> you definitely, we definitely have that up one. And then we still getting paid nicely and handsomely. Yeah. I ain't going to even stunt. Like, we get paid handsomely. For what we do, but we do a lot of stuff because we gotta withstand a lot of things. Like yes. we out in the hell, sleep, cold, COVID. Like we out there like all, right. all day, every day. So we we right. have to endure a lot for the pay that we do get. So it's most definitely a plus for that with that type of job. So you know job placement. But I will say, when you are moving outside, when you I'm, I keep saying south because I'm going south. Right. I don't care what <laughs> nobody say. I'm going I south. I ain't chasing nobody <laughs> cold. I can right. see where I'm I at. Know. <laughs> I ain't going cold. Nah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't put on another winter cold. My knees, I hate doing one of these. I, I, when your chick, when your tip and be you chattering. you can't control it, bro. Right. Like, and your knees be shaking, you be, be in there. I be like bad. You, 
like you a hype or something. Yeah, that's Excuse how I feel. Excuse me, disrespectful or nothing like that. But, but I you feel like I need like, it. Uh, I need that warmth. That's like, why I don't heat it, boy. Turn the heat on, turn the heat on. And then you be Seriously. mad when that, uh, the car don't heat up fast enough. You man, be, especially when you get off work, you ready to go, you get in that car, uh, it's cold. Man. You be like, damn, and that motherfucker be below the seat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> seat cold like, and everything. Damn, it's a hot look up. Ass cold, you don't want to sit down. You like, man. Like, warm up. Like, hey, I only stay like two minutes away. But then I don't like doing my car like that because yeah. I don't like how I be... So I'll be like, damn. Yeah, yeah I'm like, oh, wait, baby. I'm sorry this one time. We're going to have to do it, though, because I got to get to the crib. Hey, turn the heat on. <laughs> hey, it be like that. But Most definitely. I don't know. Oh, my bad, y'all. I'm sorry. But yeah, I say if you where wherever you going, if you moving out of state, you know what I'm saying. Even if you move across town, I will yeah. go visit first. Yes, yeah. I go visit. Make sure you like it. Make sure you cool. You know what I'm saying. You like the scenery. Drive yeah. around a little bit because I know when I uh when the last time we went to Miami, we had the car. Uh huh. Once I took y'all to the airport, I just drove around Miami. Yeah. Just you know See what I'm what's saying. Up with it. Looking yeah. around, seeing what's up. Even if you know what I'm saying. I wasn't going to move to Miami. Right. I know, okay, this is there, this is there, this is what they got going yeah. on. This is how they move yeah. on the local level. You, yeah. I don't want to be where the tourist is at because you ain't going to live where the tourist is at. You're right. going to be you gotta <laughs> in, the in the neighborhood. In the neighborhoods, how the hey. neighborhood is, you know what I'm saying, how they look. Yeah. And <clears throat> I don't know nobody who, you know what I'm saying, lead a hood to move to another hood. I yeah. no. Personally, I don't. I'm know. not gonna move to nobody else. So I'm sorry. If X K, I stay right where I'm at. Right. But what I do is when I am looking into a different uh environment or whatever, a different location, I go in the morning and I go at night because those are two different types of yeah. <laughs> two different yeah. types of environment depending on where you at. It yep. can be quiet during the day. People are at work at school typically. At night time, more people are home. So I wanna see if it's like, you know, a they get a little rowdy at night time, people come out, chill, whatever, see what like is it di you know, diverse. I like a mixture of people. Yeah. I don't wanna live with no all whites, don't wanna live with no all blacks, don't wanna live with no all mess. Love them all, but don't want that. I need a mix, cause shit. Yeah. I like it all. I need a bullet down the street for some pasole. <laughs> I need uh y'all already know I like to eat, so shit. Hey, I wanna be in a community where it's like it's full of different cultures and stuff so I can learn about everybody. I like that. And better. then you gotta realize is uh that neighborhood that you're trying to move to um, whether you got a car or, you know what I'm saying, you catching a bus or train, whatever, is it in walking distance to what you need to be in walking distance yeah. of? And even if you got a car, you know what I'm saying, you might have kids. And sometimes, you know, kids like to walk to the store uh -huh. and stuff like that just to have something to do. So you want your uh, neighborhood to be safe and you want to yeah. be in walking distance. Sometimes you want to be in walking distance so you can walk back and forth to the store. Yeah. Some, I don't like driving all the time. I yeah. like walking to the store. And, you, you know, know what I'm saying? It's good exercise. Also, what you're saying, like, I've experienced, like, you know, like I said, my brother moving out of state. It's hard. Some places, places it's parking is it's terrible. Ooh. Parking, I thought Chicago was bad, y'all. No. Out there where he is, that parking is terrible. It's like, you could rack, I swear to God, you could rack up so many parking tickets and, like, I mean, because you have nowhere to go. In some, in some areas, you have to, because they got street cleaning. They do it on certain days. Mm -hmm. Out here, our people, they go around our cars. Out there, no, they want you to get your shit off the street. Moving to the other side, we ain't, they ain't got time for that. If not, you're going to get ticketed. You know what right. I'm saying? So now you got to, you know, you got to fight and try to find a parking spot fit. And when I tell y'all, these cars are like stacked, bumper to bumper. Mm -mm. It's like, it's really nowhere to go. So even if you have a car, you still would rather Uber or take Lyft or whatever because it's convenient. Right. We're looking and for you don't a park. want to move that car. You Because you need your spot. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you move it, you're guaranteed before. We all know. Soon you pull out a parking spot in the major city, somebody pulling it right behind you. you like, damn, I ain't even left for two minutes yet. You know what I'm saying? You thought you was going to go around the corner to the stove? Nah. nah. That's why I should say, if you if you moving out, make sure y'all got some local areas where y'all can walk to. You know what I'm saying? Because right. that's going to be beneficial, especially if you're looking at a big city. Me, personally, I'm not a big city person. I'm a suburban. For sure. <laughs> I like I like to pull up to the store and be at the park in my parking lot, personally. Yes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I like to be able to go, <laughs> like, like, gee, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like going like... to Chicago. I hate downtown Chicago. I will express that a lot because you have to hit blocks, literally. To find a park. To find a park. And then you got to walk your ass back down there. And if it's cold, listen, I'm going to have to catch y'all in the springtime. Because yeah. I hate to be like that. I am bougie. I don't, I'm from the suburbs. Usually, where if you go into the grocery store, you don't have to park a million miles away to walk to this motherfucker. Then you got to carry your groceries down to your car, and right. then 
you might have a ticket the motherfucker might be told you might got a boot on this right. somebody might then uh hit your shit. right hit your shit or stole everything out of there like no or then like parking in the parking garage is, is like 40 bucks yeah you pay you pay right. you might as well if you if you're gonna stay there for like two hours you might as well keep your car because you're about to pay a good 40 something like you said you finna pay that so you might as well just let that car chill because <laughs> then you go for like it's not worth it in that case I don't know. That's why I see if a lot of people, you know, in the city don't have, like, cars Car or whatever. They, it's, it's like, I ain't saying you don't need it, but shit. Y'all got so many different, you know, forms of transportation. It's like, y'all busting around by the minute. Yeah. Trains, a, a line, Amtrak, Metro, everything. You know what I'm saying? So that's perfect when it comes to transportation. But out here in the birds, we need cars. Yeah. Ain't certain no places you, right, yeah. Certain places you do need cars because it, it's a length. Yeah. yeah, it might be cool to walk just for some exercise one day, but when you trying to get somewhere, you trying yeah. you got stuff to do on uh, and run errands. You can't be walking or taking no bus, right. and Uber can pile up because I know certain at certain times Uber be go to the airport hell. if you want to. Man. No, leave the airport if you want at a certain time. And they not playing. Man, Uber was like two hundred dollars when I came from Houston. Two hundred. I was like, boy, you got to play. like I'm in the wrong business. I should have shit. Hey, what's they you what's they be start looking like? Man, <laughs> if you think I'm two hundred and twenty five dollars, that when we was in Miami and we got out the club, eighty seven dollars to go across the goddamn to, to for literally less than ten minutes away to they go went, across some water. We heard up and met people. Believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like, hey, yo, what's up, yo? <laughs> Swing us around here real quick, please, and thank you. Cause yeah, that's too much. Nobody got and time I, for that. I went for the walk on that bridge. I went or oh, that turnpike. No, right. no, sir. Definitely like, thought about it, but after we got the motherfucker, <laughs> we gonna go make it. <laughs> like, like, nah, it looked a little further than what it really is. It's so close, <laughs> we had to so fucking far. Oh, and you saw them sidewalks, the sidewalks were like like this, and then it was the water, and then it's like people zooming past. I was like, oh, right. uh, I love my life. I love Hell my life. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Be in a situation where you don't see me. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't trying to be mad on a boy. Like, no, nah, I'm right. But you got to know yourself when you're moving. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that exactly. the area that you're moving into matches you. Don't yeah. move into an area that's congested if you know that you really don't like that type of environment. Or, like, you know, don't move into some like big downtown area, whatever, when you know <laughs> shit. You don't like people. So, cause you, when you go out the door, you're, you're going to interact. You're going to see people all the time. Whether you want to interact with them is upon you. But... Hey, it's or you know what I'm saying? YouTube now, you can go on YouTube. They be having videos of where to go, where yeah. not to live at, and all types of stuff at every city. You know what I'm saying? What's the top cities to go to? What's the top cities not to go to? Yeah. All that stuff. So you can YouTube and all do all that now. It's so mm -hmm. much technology and so much stuff that you can do now to do your research and know where you're going. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Make sure you do your research and make sure you're moving because that's something you want to do. Don't yeah. let nobody else influence you because they situation ain't going to be the same situation as yours. Uh -uh. Like, I want to move to Florida. Jazz don't want to move to Florida, you know what I'm saying? I might have a, a, a great opportunity down yeah. in Florida or Texas. It, Florida, it was, it's either Florida or Texas for me. She may not have that same opportunity, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we got do, different shit going on. Yeah, we got different stuff going on. So, you know what I'm saying? What's good for me is not going to be good for her. Right. So, she has to find her own path. Not saying that we're going to break up or whatever and not be friends no more. It's just, hey, I'm going to come right. visit you. Hey, we're going to make a way. Yeah, we're going to make a way. Yeah, we we That's why a lot right. of people move away because it gives us time to go visit our friends that's in other states and stuff like yeah. that. You know? Hey, I don't mind that at all. I got a sister that just moved to Arizona. She wanted me to come down there so bad. And it's like, gee, Arizona's not for me. I got a sister, cut two cousins down there. Like, that's not for me. I can't, I'm not going to Arizona. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was great for you and your move, but that's not going to be great for me and how I'm trying to move. You know what right. I'm saying? That's not where I'm, I'm trying to be placed at. So yeah. you got to make sure you're doing it for you. You know what <clears> I'm saying? <throat> Don't, hey, sometimes you got to be selfish. Sometimes yeah. you definitely got to be selfish. If it's something, because you don't want to harp over it after you done moved somewhere and you didn't want to yeah, move. Yeah, now you it unhappy happens, still. Right. You like, man, damn, I wish I would have moved <laughs> to this place. You know what I'm saying? It was so much. They had this. They had that. They had this. This was going to be good for me. Right. Now you resenting the fact that you moved to where you actually moved to. And right. you resenting the person that asked you to move there. You know what right. I'm saying? Which you don't never. Good. Yeah, you don't, it, it's, it's all going to go downhill. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you. Make sure it's your move. Right. You doing it for you right. and what you got going on in your life. You right. know what I'm saying? And I feel like this. If I want to move on to a certain location, my partner want to move to a certain location. And I don't dig where she want to move. She don't dig where I want to move. 
I feel like we should look for somewhere else that fits both of us. Right. Because I feel like we got to compromise. Because if I don't want to move here, you don't want to, there's no, that's not going to be, where are we going to compromise at? Because I know I don't want to be here, you know you don't want to be there. So, shit, if you were in that situation where it's a family situation, you finna move a whole family, make sure it's somewhere that both of y'all, because at that time, when y'all move away, the first few weeks, first few months, are not going to necessarily feel like home. So, y'all going to have to work together. You got to figure out a lot of yes. things, especially when you got kids involved. You got to look up schools, districts, and all that. Well, you should be doing that before you move. That's the first thing when I look into houses or whatever. I always look into what school districts it's in. And I look and see what the, what the schools and stuff looking like because education is important to me personally. Yeah. So, that's one of the top things I look into. So, when you're looking for, like, family situations and stuff like that, you got to pretty much damn near be very precise because you also want to move into an environment that's going to suit your kids as well. Right. Even though they say, you know, kids ain't got no option. I don't they, want my kids growing up in no fucked up area where they not where they feel like they can't, you know, do the best that they can. And then they become a product of that environment. Yeah. And you definitely, so... They probably, me. Right. <laughs> they probably ain't got no option, but at the same time, do you want them to become that yeah. product? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's not, that's not going to be a good look on you or on them. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants their kids to be... A bad influence and being influenced by bad people or nothing yeah. like that. So you know what I'm saying. Right. You definitely got to look at schools and their how they moving in their yeah. school system. Cause I yeah. I look and at then that. a lot of the stuff that they trying to teach people now. Hey now, you know yeah, what I'm saying. You that got that to be annoying. cautious and careful. Hey, you know what? That's two things that he, this man done did. <laughs> and since hey, I, it's time to vote, Illinois. You hear me? Cause that's two things he did that I just honestly don't agree with at yeah. all. I don't agree with the school stuff he trying to do. I don't agree with this new law he trying to put, but that's plenty to be in place coming right. up. Two things I don't agree. So Illinois, if you don't know, look it up. We got hey, we got stuff to look out for. So Next, we, we, ooh, a lot of us topic. probably gonna be ready to move. <laughs> another <laughs> topic. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey my gonna be getting back. That's a lot. Like first, I got all these taxes put on me. You know what I'm saying? I got state tax. I got right. you know what I'm saying? Housing tax. I got all these taxes put on me, and you Man. know what I'm saying? Y'all steady going up. It ain't like it's going down. You know what, what I'm saying? And then the way you wanna teach my my, my kids, not your kids, my kids. The way you wanna treat, I mean, teach my kids. Right. And then you got this other uh, law that you about to pass. It's just like, bro, what we doing here? <laughs> like, for real, for real. Like, like is you for us or is you ain't? Right. <laughs> At this point, it's like, damn, I know this man want to raise and taxes, but I'll probably take the tax over and damn right. the stuff that you trying to allow. I don't understand it, but we're going to get and more into that. And all this abortion and all. It's it just, y'all just, right, what, what y'all doing? We don't have a good, I don't feel like, do we even got a good person up for, because it's shit that he talking about. We're going to get into I that. Think, I think we should just be single as a state. Yeah. Just yeah. let, let uh, everybody. You know how I am about being single. <laughs> I love being single. Single, let everybody I'll look at the around real. for a while. You know what I'm saying? Because we getting ready to enter into side it, so chick me, fuck? side chick me. Because I do not want to be a main chick with the stuff y'all got going All on. Right, shit. for real. Where, I don't even know where to go, but I want to go down south for sure. So I'm. Gonna have to, we know we ain't got go good fuck. weather. It's just good too much. Weather fucked up. Cons stacked up against <laughs> Texas. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why are we staying? I, that's what I want to ask them. Why are we staying in Illinois? What is what you What's doing? What's keeping us? What's keeping us? What what you doing to keep us here? To keep us in this relationship? Like, dang. <laughs> Making it hot so we can't yeah. save no money. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to move into a toxic relationship. It was good, but now it's boy, Shit. you fraudulent. Hey, like, hey, like the old people tell these kids, y'all best stay young while you can. Cause when you start looking into the decisions that we gotta make as adults, you be like, damn, hey. what is this? <laughs> nah, but. For no, real. <clears throat> we all know everybody, hey, it ain't going to be perfect everywhere, you know, but shit, that's just some of the things that we dealing with here, so. Well, it's definitely. It ain't the main reason why I want to leave, but it's definitely one. This weather is one of the main reasons why I want to leave. And then I also feel like there's other opportunities that's elsewhere as well. I think we'll grow as a brand uh, in a, right, in yeah. a more welcoming environment, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not welcoming up here. I don't feel, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be on their own, little. Yeah. Shit, dig. As you should. Oh, you should. As you, you should. should. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. Gotta, it's crazy. I feel like, along yeah. with, uh, like, let's say, it's pros and cons will come to move. I feel like one of the biggest, uh, con probably for me is be my family. Because I still got my grandmother and my little sister and my right. mom here. You know what I'm saying? I got other family here, too, but like, Honestly, them the three main ones are my granny and grandfather. But other than that, that's it. And them, them gonna be the biggest supporters, low key, because they don't mind. They like, hey, you gotta go live. Older people, older people, 
Oh, they understand. understand. They be saying, get yeah. out and go live, go your, live life. your life. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do for you because they yeah. didn't already live their life. And if, you know what I'm saying, the younger people be trying to hold you back on some selfish, you know what I'm right. saying, type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I really want to be with you. That's and, it. And I'm in love. It's like, girl. That's it. Oh, boy, love. Oh, right. I want to be with you. Like, you know what the hell? I, I can't be in the same situation 10 years from now. If you ain't got no goals and you ain't trying to go nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Going on about your right, business. Right, what are we doing here? Right. <clears throat> and if you ain't going to support my goals and, and what I'm trying to do in my life, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are trying to break generation curses. Yeah. And in order to break that generation curse, you know what I'm saying? You have to move about it and, and go out into the world and see the world. Yeah. Joliet and Illinois. Illinois is so small compared to what you can see and compared to what right. you can do. Why? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Subject yourself to being just in that state in your town to benefit somebody else and somebody else's feelings because those feelings can change. That person can change on you quickly. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? You might look up, they ain't in love with you no more. They don't want to be with you and they, they can care less what you do or you don't do. Uh-huh. And you done wasted and you don't your, sacrifice your, yeah, with your yeah. dreams and aspirations to stay here with someone <laughs> for what? For what? Like, <clears throat> yeah, but yeah, I can't do them. And then, you know what I'm saying? You got to be sure that where you're going is good for your health, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that the health uh, system is good for you because I can like I don't want to go to Arizona. That shit is too dry for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Asthma, allergies. Yeah. I don't want to be walking around. I chew and I chew and... <gasps> You like the baby. What's gonna be looking like? What's gonna be looking like? Look, look. You like, girl? You what got you got? Coochie? Where you, you from? Got the you bringing that shit down right. here? Hey, take your ass over there somewhere. Because <laughs> I don't want that. You Man. know what I'm saying? I don't want to wear no coat neither. I don't. I don't want to wear no coat. I want to. I want to see some skin. Yeah. I ain't gonna even. I want to see some I skin. I thought a little nice sweater. You know what right. I'm saying? Be I good. Wanna, I want to see some skin. I don't want to be bundled up with two coats and a heavy duty coat. Like, look, you out there to my head, girl? How you doing? Can you pull your, your scarf down no, so I can cold. see you? It's too cold. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know how long it takes to warm up in this coat? <laughs> shit. You want me to let this wear in here? Bro. Gotta put heaters in this coat. Hey, Hand yeah, warmers. Your warm pads. <laughs> Talking about don't put on your body <laughs> shit. <laughs> My back cold. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, no. I, I be freezing, y'all. Like, I, I be freezing. See, this motherfucker, she like a little cold, but I, I be do. freezing. I be freezing. I like a little, I like a little cold. Because you got to, you know what I'm saying? When you get up under the covers, you got to cuddle and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The cuddle and get laid to something else. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I want it to be warm enough. I can get, so we can you know, get warmed up at least. <laughs> we can get warmed up and I can get naked. You try to do so, you still cold like shit. <laughs> You shaking it? <laughs> I don't like, but I don't like. Hey. No, I don't like being up under the covers. I like being <clears throat> on top of the covers. Right? Shit, fuck. But it gotta be there. warm enough for me to be on top of the covers. I don't yeah. know if it's too cold. Right, listen, we gonna say this blessing, this prayer right here. We gonna take our butts to sleep because hey. ain't nothing, ain't no action going on. It's too cold. It's too cold. It's and too that's, cold. That's, that's, that's and I don't care how beautiful the uh the winter is or the snow is. Uh-uh. I, don't snow. I don't like shoveling in the snow. I don't like I don't, I don't like, like driving in it. I don't like no. none of it. I don't. <clears throat> and I like driving fast too, so I can't just be driving doing uh-uh. eighty and skid down the street. Hell no. Yeah. Maybe said pop. Mess my baby here. up. Mm-mm. Yeah, I need to hurry up. So shit. I'll and then you gotta keep constantly getting tires. Hell no. I'll be somewhere in uh down south bomb. <laughs> In the next couple of years, though, I can't do this shit. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh, I'm ready to go. Shit, I can't even. I don't even got a ne- another couple of years in me. Like, I, I got a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's time. It's time to go for real. It's time to go. And if you from up this way, you understand. When you tired of that cold, you tired of that cold. The weather definitely. I know a lot away. of people are complaining. Like, ah, oh, you know, a lot of Chicago people. It's cold as fuck. It's right. cold. We we don't have a reason to stay here. They don't want us here. They don't want us. Obviously, not the stuff that y'all putting up with. We got to put up with with all this politics and the weather. And uh, it's just it's, hey, just it's too, too much. much. <laughs> Listen, let me go back down south and. Hey, I asked Buddy from Texas. I said, "Why you?" I said, "You chose the wrong time to move up here. Why you move up here?" He yeah, was like, "He didn't even know how to answer me because it's like, damn, like, hey, definitely." I told the wrong him, time. girl. I told them. I said the winter is approaching. I said them shorts ain't gonna do it, bro. You better get you some thermals. Hey, some thermals and them thick, thick ass socks that you can't even put your shoe on. You gotta get two you extra to, sizes. Uh, loosen up your laces, <laughs> right? Good. Two extra sizes because uh uh-uh. uh, 
It's gonna be cold, y'all. It, it's gonna be for real, for real. But, I uh, met a guy. He was from California. He was here for his uh, first grandchild's birth. Okay, that's cool. He came out with this little jacket. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be here for a couple of months. I was like, um, you may want to get you a bigger jacket, sir. <laughs> um, that's not going to work. You're going to need you a coat. Right. I said, then you don't even need a jacket. It's going to be a coat, glove, scarf, hat. Like, this ain't no yeah. joke. This ain't no joke. Hey, you, you can't live it up here for the week. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not. It uh-uh. ain't. It ain't for the week because we be dead it, it hit you in your bones. Bro. Like, that's nothing you can't control when it hits you in your bones, man. Like you, your right. skin could be cold. You can, <sighs> but that should be cold. But when it's hitting you in your bones, boy, you be like, "Hurry the fuck up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry Look, up!" Hurry. I, I'm mad right now. I just got mad because <laughs> like <laughs> you, you can't you, control. If you gotta roll that window down, boy, you oh, can't control. It. Pure attitude with me. Pure attitude. <laughs> I won't even go to. I won't even. I don't even like pumping gas in the right. cold. That's just sad, and that's just uh, that's why I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't like pumping gas. I don't. You at McDonald's and you talking about? Hey, just give it to me. I'll warm it up when I get home. You ain't even gotta put it on the bun. <laughs> put everything in the bag. Just come on, it's let's go. Shit, nah, but oh, uh, that's then you gotta carry on that big ass cold. You be trying to go out? Sh- yeah, coat check, please. <laughs> like, Bad. and then when you finally get there, you 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 standing around with a bear coat trying to dance, and then everybody keep on coming in, opening the door. You be like, damn, shut the door. When right. the door, they fret. Hey, look. As y'all can see, this is not gonna work. <laughs> I just got there's too many cars and living like like. I'll tell you, like, why are we staying here? We not, we gotta go. We gotta what, go. What's dude name? What's the governor name? I forgot Ooh, his Prisker. name. Prisker. Why are we staying here with your ass? You goofy. Can you all that money you got, dude? Can you make us have summer all year round? Shit, fall. News on. I'll take. I'll take fall. I'll take autumn all year round. I can do that. But all that damn billions of dollars you got, and it's a scientist going up too. You asking this thing to change the weather? <laughs> Hell yeah! You trying to change everything else? You want to change fucking laws and abortions do something and good. shit? Do something good. Do something good. I don't want winter. Shit. I, I mean, you you keep that shit all the way hey, up right. top. Build a fucking dome over there. <laughs> right. That's what we want for a little while. Like sprint on uh on uh the Simpsons shit. I know it was a cartoon fucker. I know, but still, hey, don't. I mean, the Simpsons be on point. <laughs> they do. <laughs> but I'm saying. He got all them billions of dollars. You want to change everything else? Change that shit. I want all right. them all year round. I take a couple summer days. There is super hot. You know what I'm saying? Get out here and you know what I'm saying? Do my thing. But I don't want no damn snow no more. Like, no, I'm damn sick it. of it. Don't worry about I'm, it. That's what I'm going to vote for. Whoever cannot have snow in Illinois and, and <laughs> shit. Because you giving us everything else. We got high ass taxes. No abortions. Not purge coming soon. Shit. Right. <laughs> the, right. The purge finna be here. Shit. Like, I don't know. I know, and I know you can't do it, nigga. That's why I vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it is what it is. Do you but, white men think they got that that power? So shit. I, I'm gonna well, show out. Look, look, I'm a, I, look. <laughs> God turned one fucking water into wine. He showed out at the party, so I'm waiting for you to show out at this party. All right, cause it, at this stage, yeah, at this. No, nah, I'm going down south. You ain't got to waste your time. You ain't got to waste I your time. See. I'm sorry. I, I, I ain't saying I'm not moving. I'm not saying we broken up yet. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> <laughs> at all that, just we just I just think about that. It, it's over because the code is coming soon. We, I'm gonna be pissed is. off, y'all. I ain't lying. <laughs> it's coming, and we can't stop it. And like I always say, that's one thing I love about Mother Nature. You can't, can't. She can't be controlled. No. Nope. And that's a beautiful thing. But damn, lady, give us. <laughs> you know, it's okay because that's why he made the South, and I'm going down south, back down yes. south, whatever, so I can get warmed up and I ain't got to deal with this stuff. But. I don't know where y'all from. Let us know where y'all from. Y'all got good weather out there. Let us know so we come and slide through and I come visit two of y'all little locals just in case I'm going to move down there. But if you live in the country, don't, don't. You, you keep it. Sorry. I ain't moving to nobody's country either. Uh-huh. I got to stay about, the farthest I could be from a major city, like about th- half an hour out. That's it. I can't be too far because I got to go. I, I like to have a good time. I like to go. And we all know the major cities, they hold a lot of good things. They got some good food, got different Shit to do all the time or whatever. Uh, yeah. I ain't I ain't moving nobody to rural area. I'm straight. I don't need to take two, three, four, five, ten miles to go to the damn store. I need about two minutes. That's all I can do. <laughs> Other than that, I'm straight. But, Most definitely. And yeah, I love going out shaking my booty and seeing somebody else shake that. She don't be shaking no <laughs> She don't be shaking I no do. booty. <laughs> I do. I do shake a tail feather. But, f- hell no, fuck you. I do. <laughs> 
You just you get to shake it a little harder than me because don't <laughs> nobody be groping and grabbing Look. on you. Dang. So you shake it to get loose. You nah. ain't gonna get it. Yeah. I be having the two. You ain't shaking to get hey, loose. Hey, they be trying to take me. And this motherfucker be like for five five ninety nine you can have her for the night. Hey. Don't worry though. After a while y'all ain't gonna be able to grope and grab her. So you know. We gonna go ahead. <laughs> I love y'all y'all know when I be touching trust me. Real quick, <laughs> but I don't know what else you got for that. We didn't talk hey, about we anything. Talk, we was hey, talk that's about. what. Right, we just. Hey, if you're thinking about moving, go check out the place. Make sure it's the place for you. Most definitely. If you know you don't it's like to look, walk, man. move to a major city where you ain't gotta walk too far to get what you want. If you don't like people, suburbs. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's all we got for y'all. Yes, and I hope wherever you move, you prosper. You know what I'm saying? You blessed. You up, level up, you know what I'm saying? You do all the good things that you're trying to do, and you stay focused and uh-huh. disciplined, you know what I'm saying? I hope God cover you in the blood of Jesus when you're trying mm-hmm. to do that. And, you know what I'm saying? Make, but make sure you do keep in contact with people back home so yeah. they kind of know what you got going straight. on. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying, all the good things. I hope all good things happen to the people who are taking that jump and that leap because yeah. it is a very big leap. Like I said, whether it's across country, you know what I'm saying, across state or across town, yeah. even across the street, you know what yeah. I'm saying, because it, it it's all different. Yeah, especially if you're moving along by yourself. There's yeah. a lot of people, you know, that step out and do that thing. Keep on doing your thing, but just be very much more alert yeah. when you're doing so. But Move we love y'all as always. Thank y'all for tuning in and rocking with us. Peace, love, and happiness. Deuces. Alright, I'm yeah. gonna have to edit that too. What the hell is this? Did it record? Oh, it's still recording. Okay, cool.